I have cancer. And I'm building a YouTube channel about getting ourselves and our families outdoors. And it's National Mental Health Awareness Month. So let's talk about all of that. Hello again, everyone. I'm Jason. Who are you? What can you tell us about yourself and your channel? Those are pretty common questions I get from viewers. Maybe I've let you all down by not addressing these questions sooner, but I've been trying to keep the focus on providing educational and entertainment value. Well, with Mental Health Awareness Month upon us, it seems as good a time as any to say more about what is driving me to make this content for all of you. And we can also make this the first video in a short series honoring this month about the mental game. It's hard to underestimate the impact that our frames of mind and our mental patterns have on our adventures, whether we be climbing, mountaineering, backpacking, or hiking. But yes, I'm starting this series with a different type of video than I have ever made. I had never really intended on making this particular video, but it was starting to feel disingenuous. See, I believe in the lessons that the outdoors can teach, and vulnerability is certainly one of them. But more on that in a bit. It wasn't coincidence that this channel started at the height of the pandemic, but it wasn't a lost job or boredom or something else like that, which was the impetus. It started because my son, Connor, asked me to start it. I resisted for a few months, but when he got his twin brother, Kate, on board, it just became impossible to say no. I was nervous about putting our family out there, so to speak. But I decided that it was also a chance to build something with my boys, something we could collaborate on and spend time with together. I also jumped at the chance to be doing something educational again. I had been a climbing and mountaineering instructor and technical course director <laughs> with the Colorado Mountain Club for a lot of years. But I really couldn't be due to the pandemic. As I mentioned, I have cancer. And over the first year or so of the pandemic, people with my particular condition who caught COVID were dying at a 50% rate. See, a little over a year before the pandemic, I was diagnosed with a slow progressing type of leukemia, blood cancer. I found out from a routine physical. I had no symptoms. My blood work simply came back with a very high white blood cell count. Over the course of about four weeks, we went through the diagnosis and prognosis cycle, figuring out that I had cancer, what type of cancer, and the genetic specifics of my cancer that would suggest how aggressive or passive the disease growth would be. Hardest time of my life. My blood pressure went from an athlete's 110 over 75 to 145 over 95 in a month. I was diagnosed on December 4th of 2018 and then lived that anxiety cycle. The first time I broke down about it all was December 23rd, when I realized I had forgotten to buy my wife a Christmas present. She was quick to forgive me. But I've been using therapy in many of its forms to help. That means actual mental therapy, but also excursions into the outdoors, writing, and yes, this channel. My tribe of those with my same disease aren't dying at a 50% clip anymore, but the numbers still aren't great. I'm one of those immunocompromised people you hear about in the news. Because my disease affects a subset of my white blood cells, which are the disease and infection fighting cells, the vaccines don't really protect me the way they should. People with my condition have a hard time generating antibodies. So I've been pretty isolated. I haven't been able to be around large groups of people or in classroom settings. That's ruled out teaching outdoor skills in the way that I had before. So in some ways, this channel has been an outlet for me to do something I really love doing in a different way now, given new constraints. But I also see the channel as an opportunity to break down some of those gatekeeping behaviors I've seen happen, like belittling people if they have questions or make mistakes. The consequences of mistakes in the outdoors can be pretty high, so I often see people responding to people who are new to the outdoors without empathy. It can come off in such a way as to simply shut down the conversation, and no one can learn when that happens. 
So given that I am right now actively teaching my boys who, by definition, have to be new to all of this, there you go. Good kick. I thought I'd simply bring a camera along and see if that wouldn't help out some of those seeking knowledge for themselves, or because bringing a little dependent person into the wilderness can be intimidating, or hard, or both. As I mentioned when talking about my kids asking me to do this, the channel also makes excuses for me to get out with my wife and my kids a lot. And I get plenty of mental health helping endorphins when I go out on our adventures. We get to enjoy the process of learning together, and yes, I also learn from my kids all the time. Their fresh eyes remind me to be in awe of nature and the experiences we get to have. Yeah, the mountains are straight. From the profound to the mundane. You need to tighten it? Yeah. We get to spend time before the trips, planning routes and topics and shots and the like. And then we get to put the videos together and actually relive our adventures. For the middle-aged of us watching, remember when our parents used to make those home movies or slideshows, but we never really watched them after we recorded them? Maybe every five years at a family holiday? Well, my family and I get to watch and remember and reconnect over our shared experiences every week. And if I'm candid, there's also a bit of a dark reason for the channel too. I'm putting my face and my voice and images of me with my sons into some kind of preservation. It's there for my kids to watch and remember if they should ever need to. Now, I'm not in dire straits. My particular disease is slow moving and has seen incredible treatment advances in the past few years. They don't even use chemo on it anymore, typically. They use molecularly targeted pills. But there are still side effects and the treatment wreaks havoc on your immune system and that makes COVID worse and the disease can always mutate into something more virulent. There's a lot of unknowns. And believe me, I've been using the risk assessment skills that I've learned in the outdoors almost every day as I've navigated COVID and tried to balance the very real risk to me while still being out there living a life. But I'm on a journey of processing this new life and figuring out the best way to live it. In some ways, that's no different from what I got out of climbing in the first place. It's why I turned my attention from the mountains of Colorado to glaciated peaks and then high altitude peaks and then multiple expeditions across the three great ranges, including a seven person independent attempt at a 7,000 meter first descent in the Himalaya. I believe my climbing of mountains would be purely selfish if I didn't attempt to redeem my climbs by being open to the lessons they teach me. The potential bad consequences are simply too high to be worth the benefits if I don't make those benefits meaningful to me and those around me. I don't always get it right, but I try to be open to what these experiences can teach. I try to bring those lessons back to my daily life and be a better man, husband, and father, having my own job to do teaching my sons these hard-won truths in turn. The lessons are just different now at this point in my life. So that's me, a climber who's done some cool things, is a better alpine than rock climber, but isn't a world beater. A former outdoors instructor who's now trying to find another way to give back because I just feel compelled to do so. A husband who is imperfect as I try to navigate real stress and anxiety. A father who just wants to be there for his boys as much as I can. Thanks for coming to the end of this rather unusual video. I hope I've answered some of your questions, and I hope you will continue to support the channel. You can do so by hitting that like button, ringing that bell, and subscribing, and by sharing our channel and videos with anyone who you think may be interested. As always, you can check out our website at shortguysbetaworks.com to find gear lists, all of our videos, and additional thoughts and information. So why do you get outdoors? What place does nature and adventure occupy in your mental makeup and mental hygiene? Let us know in the comments. We'll see you next week, and we'll get back to talking more directly about outdoor adventuring. Keep on getting more out of that big outside.